how to fix low battery temperature in a mobile phone either battery temperature too low or too high so as soon as you switch on this mobile phone it's going to show low battery temperature when it gets to the, to the desktop so I opened the mobile PCB the phone was from um, another technician as you can see he tried to work on the PCB so I had to desolder the, the cable that he sold at right here he tried to jump out the, the battery ID he actually sold that this well but he joined some wires right there so I removed it and looked into the problem but that the problem wasn't coming from this area right so we are going to go into the schematic diagram of this phone to troubleshoot using schematic diagram so what we are going to do right here we are going to look into the schematic diagram of this mobile phone to be able to solve the problem because the technician told me he already tried to a different battery and uh, the problem did not get solved right and from the look of things he already worked on the on the battery connector so we are looking into the thermistors in this mobile PCB and we're going to take a look at the battery connector circuit to be able to, to know how we can troubleshoot this problem so from the look of things this should be the battery connector circuit and uh, yeah what I want you to understand that even though we are looking into the schematic diagram the problem should be if the, the, the problem is from the circuit it should be from in this circuit right here it should be in this battery circuit even though there is no t temperature thermistor in this circuit but if there is a problem like the battery temperature error problem it should be in the battery circuit and if it was like a, a mobile temperature too low or too high or charging temperature too low or too high we will know where to check that but in some cases this can still happen okay so if you check you see that we have the the VBAT this is the VBAT line VBAT line is number one and the the second line is the battery ID the problem should be from that battery ID then the third line right here is the GNZ so if you take a look you will see that the the battery ID doesn't connect with the GNZ yeah that's the first thing that I need to keep in mind to be able to troubleshoot this fault which means that from here I need to test the the diode reading between the second line and the and the and the third line which is the battery ID and the GNZ that's what I need to look into first after going through all the schematics so after that I need to check on these schematics I need to check on the the line of the battery ID where it passes through and where it's going to so it passes through a 20 24k ohm resistor right here which is this resistor so first these two resistors right here can be causing the problem and if I check these two resistors and they are okay I will need to go to the to this other side because they are connected to the other uh, circuit in this mobile PCB which is the VDD 1.8 volt and the, the battery temp right here so that can still be a cause of this problem so we are looking at thermistor we're looking for thermistors in this mobile PCB because that's the first thing that can be causing this problem if you look on the thermistor and remove the thermistor then still getting the, the error then that's when we can uh, start checking on the resistors in the part so what we are going to do we are looking at the other circuit and if you check right here you will see that we have the, the, the temperature circuit right here we have thermistor right here one thermistor and we have two thermistor so it says close to PMU which means that it's close to the power manager IC close to the charger which means that it's the close to the charging IC so the the PMU thermistor is that in which control the, the temperature of the mobile phone itself like you can see a phone saying mobile temperature too low it's caused by this and the charging temperature too low or high it's caused by this thermistor so we are going to remove two of this thermistor one by one to see if this can solve the problem like I said I'm just giving this a try to, to see because it was supposed to be giving a different type of temperature problem if 
it was going to be given it was supposed to be given a different type of temperature problem if the problem was coming from this two thermistor but you you have learned something from this right so what we are going to do we are going to go into the pcb i will just remove it and tell you if it works or not if it doesn't work then you will see what we are going to do about this circuit and before we decide anything to do on the mobile pcb we will need to know where these thermistors are in this mobile pcb so let's find the thermistors so opening schematic diagram you cannot work on it without opening the pcb layout so right here we have the pcb layout right so i have to come uh, you are not seeing the top panel but i'm switching between the schematic and the the pcb layout so we are going to search for this thermistor right here which is r R0380 so let's come right here R0380 right and hit on enter okay great so we are locating the, the part number of this component in the mobile PCB right so what okay great so we have the thermistor right here and from the, the look of things this should be the power manager ic okay so like it said in the schematic diagram it's close to the pmu which is actually true if you take a look right here so we are going to remove this thermistor first and uh, the next one is r r0002 okay we are going to search that so we are going to mark the location where this is beside the power manager ic and we are going to check the one beside the the charging IC so this one was our 0002 and hit on enter okay nice one and we are going to zoom in okay great this should be okay and the T0038 should be the charging IC right here 6 pin charging IC okay so right here we have the other thermistor we have two thermistor resistors in this mobile PCB which are temperature resistors right so we are going to remove these resistors one by one then I will tell you if that works or not if it doesn't work then we are going to look into the battery connector circuit it's about solving the problem and teaching you how you can actually troubleshoot unfortunately I wasn't able to solve the problem by removing the two thermistors that we saw in the schematic diagram right so I had to look into the battery connector circuit I noticed something about this battery connector the battery ID and the GND were shorting and if you remember when we look into the schematic diagram they do not have any common connection like there was no uh, parallel connection between the battery ID and the GND which means that they are not supposed to be beeping when you test them but this one was beeping right here so I was just decided to work on it like clear this area then test if everything is okay and when I was uh, cleaning everything off I noticed that there is a cable right there and from here I noticed that okay someone worked on it so after removing the connector I noticed that he he scraped one part which is the GNG part right there and somehow he linked it to the to the battery ID even though the, the battery ID line from there was peeled off so from here okay I noticed that the problem should be coming from here oh yeah this the first place that i have to to troubleshoot to solve the problem right so this middle pin that he scraped right there he wasn't supposed to do that you understand so i had to test the mobile pcb without uh, connecting the, the connector because i had to make sure that okay even if without the, the connector at least the phone should even show a sign to switch on without uh, showing the battery temperature arrow just as soon as it gets to the it gets to the to the desktop so i connected the cable then try to switch it on was still getting the message but yet the, the battery id was not there so i needed to work on it to see if yeah I, I can be able to solve the problem so I was just cleaning the PCB as you can see so look what I will do here so I had to insulate the 
the pin that he's created right there and connect it to the to the id i had to insulate that that pin because that was a wrong connection right there that pin wasn't supposed to connect to the battery id so i had to mount back the but i haven't solved the problem so don't think that we have solved the problem yet so i'm just mounting the the battery connector because from here i know what we we have to do right i know what we have to do so i have to to mount it so while mounting i have to talk about my online course i have a professional online course which you can learn mobile repairing starting from the basics to the professional level of troubleshooting using schematic diagrams and everything if you get this call you course, you will love it the course is so good that as soon as you get the course you will become so good in troubleshooting so you can check the comment section send me a message on whatsapp using the number on the screen so after mounting i had to jump a cable so the point that I'm soldering that cable right there is the battery ID point and you can also know this from the schematic diagram so that's where I picked that connection from so I had to jump out this cable right there to the battery ID connector and remember I insulated the the, the screen part under the, the, the connector so the middle pin wasn't connected to the GND again and uh, after doing this I just applied my glue right there and use my curing light to cure it and uh, after that i switch on the phone and everything was good everything is working right here thank you and don't forget to subscribe and like the video then get my calls if you really want to troubleshoot like this